Today we're going to unbox and test this Televis VB3 high VHF outdoor TV antenna. And here's all the pieces out of the box. This antenna looks like it might be tricky to assemble, but it's actually fairly easy. Most of the parts just snap together. To start, we'll install these back reflectors. All you do on this bracket is grasp the little tab and move these snap lock levers out of the way. Slide the reflectors in and make sure that the little end with the cap is facing out. And then just gently snap those levers back in place and that locks the reflectors. Okay, now I'm going to assemble the front half of the antenna. So you take one half of the yellow plastic antenna body and you're going to insert the two H-shaped elements into that, into these holes. And you're going to pay close attention to the little alignment pins that are on the plastic housing. Those pins are going to help orient the elements at the correct angles and they just sit in the housing like this. Those little holes just drop onto the pins. And then the other half of the yellow cover can go on, on the other side of the elements. But don't snap that together just yet. Now the reason you're not snapping that antenna body together yet is because these little alignment pins here are going to come into play when you add the back section in. This is going to sit in like this that pin is going to sit in the hole and this little pin sits in this little crook here and that keeps all of the elements aligned the way they're supposed to. Then you can add in the other side of that yellow cover and snap it all together. And here's the antenna so far. All we have to do now is add in the RF connector and the mast clamp, add a couple of screws and it'll be ready to go. The RF connector and active elements have this square notch here that's gonna sit down on the main boom like this and then it slides in aligning with these grooves on the body and that will just click into place. And finally, adding the mast clamp to the antenna, you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten down those bolts. And the two screws that keep the yellow plastic housing together, you will need a Phillips or star screwdriver for those screws. All right, here's the finished assembly. And this antenna is 33 inches long, 34 inches wide, which should put it right in the wheelhouse of the high VHF band which is the band of TV that it's cut for. Of course, today we're going to be testing it out against my VHF channels RF2, 4, and 9 and see how it performs receiving those channels. It's nice and lightweight. It's all aluminum and the plastic parts, I wouldn't worry too much about those. They're made of a high-impact ABS plastic that should stand up to the weather for years to come. Now looking at the antenna from the underside, the integrated 75 ohm impedance match connector is protected from the weather and that will also make an easy connection to coaxial cable without any transformer wires dangling down. And here it is up on a mast, 17 feet in the air, pointed in the direction of my local broadcast towers. Now we'll go inside, run a channel scan and check the signal strength. So all three local TV stations scanned in no problem with this antenna. RF channels 2 and 4, CKPR and CHFD, both had clean, stable pictures with no pixelation, despite having slightly lower signal strengths. RF channel 2 came in with a signal strength in the low 60s, while RF channel 4 came in with a signal strength in the high 50s. And I found this to be fine, considering that this antenna is really cut for high VHF TV channels, and it also does boast good rejection characteristics of signals outside of its prescribed bandwidth. And you really can't fault this antenna for picking up these low VHF signals cleanly. Usually to get a signal anywhere in the 70s or 80s on these channels, you would need to use a larger antenna with much longer elements. 
And RF channel 9 TVO, which is right in the middle of the high VHF TV band, was received very well with a signal strength moving anywhere from the high 70s up into the low 90s, reaching as high as 93%, which really shows you the gain that this antenna is capable of capturing high VHF TV channels with. Despite its smaller size, it really does behave like a larger antenna intended for this TV band. The Televis VB3 antenna would do well in any city or suburban area where you need high VHF TV reception on channels 7 through 13. It could be combined with an outdoor UHF antenna to receive the full bandwidth of channels in your area. And as far as mileage goes, I think it's more than reasonable to expect this antenna to pick up signals as far as 40 or 50 miles from the broadcast towers.